If I could accidentally kill myself with this, I would like to know before I do it. Adam and Cole win playing games. They're both so stupid and lame. The show is going to hell. In a handbasket. Howdy, interwebs! This here's Handbasket Gaming. I'm Adam, that's Corwin. This here's West Lothian that we're playing. Yeah. <laughs> I hate me. I hate him too. So, uh, I looked into it. We can't get the third horse, or fourth horse, rather. Um, so we have our choice of regular ass horse, uh, crazy horse, or, uh, pale horse. I'm gonna vote for crazy <clears throat> horse, personally. God damn it, I was gonna vote, uh, pale horse. I am because... good with pale horse, though, because I did think that he was creepy. Well, he makes me think of Binky from, uh, from the Discworld books. Okay. Because Death's horse in the Discworld books let's, is named Binky. Let's do that then. Okay. I'll go with I'll go with the spooky pale one. I gotta remember her voice. <laughs> it's a little like this. Yeah, actually, I don't, we, uh, everyone this is new recording session. These are new voices. Yeah, we're not gonna remember it. I mean, I know she's Holly Hunter, but beyond that, fuck it. Good choice. That's a good horse if you like this sort of thing. I'll sell it for a thousand meat. What sort of thing? You know, spooky stuff. Love it! Here. Here's the keys, ride safe. <laughs> what, what do you think, buddy? You want to name it Binky? I do want to name it Binky. Binky! Are you sure you want it? Yes. Alright then, Binky the horse. It's got a nice ring to it. You bet your ass it does. <laughs> Oh, I almost forgot. Free with every horse purchase is a complimentary map. Thanks. Sweet, we got a map. Now, wait, what? <laughs> okay, well, it's not that map. Let's go to the inventory. Inventory. Where's the map? Hey, look, a map. Follow map to Dirtwater. Once you leave Bowling Springs, you won't be able to come back. Any unfinished business you've got will forever remain unfinished. Are you sure you're ready to leave? Yes. Alrighty then. You're properly horsed and ready to start your new life in the West. All you need now is a partner. Somebody to share the trail with. Somebody you can rely on for emotional and combat support. Um, oh, you can only take one person of all these people, huh? Yeah. Um. Who? Susie, Susie was the person who had her... Uh, She's out for revenge, I yeah. think. But and but Doc also wants to destroy uh See what I'm torn with here is that Crazy Pete is the guy who just has has male anatomy Tourette's and keeps talking about taints and scrotums and stuff. Mm. You know my reservations about the doctor. Yeah, but I went ahead with the pale horse and let you name it Binky, so I called dibs on the. Dock. All right, Captain says <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> oh yeah, he does. You knock on Alice's door and tell her it's gentlemen, time to That's go. why you agree on letting Hit it be the, the trail. pale horse. God damn it! <laughs> Up until this point, you've been automatically spending your XP. I've been automatically spending your XP for you. I'm happy to keep doing it, and I promise to give you a nice, well-rounded experience. Shall I keep it up, or would you prefer to decide for yourself where the XP gets spent? You can always change it later in the options menu. For the sake of the show and brevity, I'm going to say spend it automatically. Yep. Automatically. Alrighty then. Let's go. Check your map. Discovered a new map location. Town of Dirtwater. You've discovered a new map location. The Manifest Destiny Railroad Camp. Head for Dirtwater. <laughs> dun 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 da Room for rent within. Alright. Let's see. What do you got? Oh, that's my partner. Well, well okay. What does she want? What's up, Doc? If we're going to look into the necromancer business, Captain, I figured we ought to start with the local cemeteries, Captain. Makes makes sense. Do you know where they are? Yeah, I did some research in the territory of cemeteries a while back, Captain, when we were stuck in that spaceship. Territory cemeteries? Territory see, cemeteries? He said it. Tw I needed to. Let me finish my lines, goddammit. Yeah, Captain. Oh, you see it. Bad, Captain. Are you Okay, go. Cam. Haha, <laughs> 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 sorry. Anyway, there's not too far from here, Cam. Discover new map. The Dave Yard. The fucking Dave. What do you think we should do next? 
Well, if you're looking to find out the lay of the land, I guess a railroad crew might be able to give you a fairly literal interpretation, Captain. Makes sense. All right, well, we're looking for a railroad thing. I should be thing. over here drinking booze by myself, Captain. Or we Captain. can go to the Dave Yard. I miss you, Captain. I, I, I can put this in my right, eye. You. Shut up. You shut up. We're at Jules. Wait, this looks an awful lot like that. No, okay, it's slightly different. I sure hope that there's something in that spit platoon. I like the. I like where your head's mm -hmm. at. Inspect it. Inspect it further. No, keep going. Always search the spittoons. <laughs> Just get in there. Yes. Oh, it's so gross. Glorp. Except instead of tapioca, it's basically. Oh. It feels like your hand is dissolving. Wait, we didn't find. Keep searching. Filthy porcelain cow. What? I found a tacky, filth-covered porcelain cow figurine. A useless, disgusting thing that will make a great heirloom for your children, assuming you're still able to have any, and you hate them. Hooray! It's the best day ever! Oh, shit. Is this some uh -huh. sort of new drinking game? These guys are having a spirited discussion about guns, and which of theirs is nicer. Oh, okay, so they're just showing each other. Yeah, that's the sign all says, see bartender for darts. Hey, how come they're allowed to... Oh, okay. Welcome to the NRA Guys. bar. Nice. Um, I'm gonna buy some slop. Got a plate of slop. There you go. Piano player is not very good at his job. No, he's the not. The old man stares off into the distance, listening to the piano. Try to talk to him. He doesn't react to you at all. Oh shit. Damn it, I had, a, I had an old man voice all, like, holstered <laughs> there. I was ready. He's old. What are you up to? Oh, you're my partner again. Never mind. No. Yeah, God, God damn it. I Is sure she... love the alcohol in here, Captain. Yeah. Um. All right. Heh. <laughs> end, end conversation, please. Engrossing conversation. Leave them be. What do you got? Well, it's always nice to see a new face in town. Welcome to the Jewel Saloon. Hi, thanks. I'm Grizzly. Glad to know you, Grizzly. Folks around here call me Lloyd. That's what can I do for you. It's nice to meet you, Lord. Oh. Um. Uh, darts. Can I get some darts? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Yoda. The sign on the dartboard said to see you for darts. Oh, sorry. All the darts got broke months ago. That's disappointing. All right, what's, what about the old man? Who's that old man by the piano? Oh, that's old Ellsbury. Tragic fellow he is. He is, was a writer and a poet coming out west to sell his storybooks. But nobody were buying too weird his stories. Fantastical, like, like universal health care. Too bad. I love that stuff. <laughs> oh, I do too, but it's not popular in these parts. Well, it doesn't matter much now anyway. He had gotten normal work to meet and meets and did pass and well as a prospector till one day he lost his mind in a mind. He what now? You know what I mean. He saw something. Something made him stop telling his weird tales. Made him stop talking near completely come to that. He just stands there by the panel nowadays. Seems to calm him down as long as he doesn't make any trouble. I don't mind him too much. Feel a little sorry for him, to be honest. Poor fella. Okay. Give me a quest. I mean, need help with anything? Well, if you're handy with the mechanical type stuff, something's gone wrong with our player piano player. <laughs> Whoa, oh no, that was, you actually read that right. I thought, <laughs> 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 I thought the music sounded a little off. Yeah, it's supposed to sound, not supposed to sound like that. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. I've done poked around him myself, but I lost the key. This, this has suddenly taken a strange turn. Oh. Okay. Try to fix him. I need another goddamn needle. That's fine. Oh my. What's I just around? noticed the poker room. Mm -hmm. Have we talked to you yet? Al doesn't let him out of mood to talk. Dang old. 
Uh, all right, let's see about the room. That's right, finest room in the house. Plenty of room for your partner, too. You interested? How much does it cost? Oh, I was going to make that, but all right. I thought you said you were tired of playing That's because I thought you were going to walk away from Lloyd, but now I thought you are going to do something new. How much does it cost, <laughs> Lloyd, you well, son of a bitch? <laughs> well, there's in luck. The previous tenant was a banker fella, and he paid a month in advance right before getting himself killed by bandits. You see, like a decent sort of room's yours if you want it. Gratis. That means free. Gratis. Wow, great. Well, that was easy. I sure hope you let me lie with you, big young lady. Stay away from me when I'm in the poker room. Rules. This poster says rules of poker, followed by hundreds of weird rules in tiny print. Read them. Nines are wild. Sixes of spades are double wild. A player passing out drunk at the table immediately loses the game. A nine must be replaced with four fours. A player spitting anywhere other than his platoon must immediately discard a deuce. Okay, I feel like that could go on forever. Table's oh. full up. No room at this table. I'm gonna sit alone. No? <laughs> All right, well, I'll let, let's, let's play quote-unquote poker. You sit down at the table. A dealer emerges from somewhere in the back and sits down next to you. Later to your right introduces herself as Virginia. Virginia? No, it's Vidalia. And the Vidalia, the onion. And the player to your left says his name is Bart. Bart! The dealer tells you that the ante is 20 meat. Ante up! Dealer gives you the deck a shuffle and then deals. A hand of cards glides across the table to you. It's really a... a it's a really terrible hand. Four nines of hearts and an... No, okay, I did read that. Four <laughs> nines of hearts and an eight. It's the first round, the pot is 60 meat, and you estimate your chance of winning about 20%. What? Okay. Um, cleverly strategize. Yeah, I'm going to cleverly strategize. You do some quick mental math and realize the odds of winning are better than you thought they were. Plus 20%. M move to the next round. Um, I'm going to say glamorously strategize. Um, we just did that last turn. No, we want. strategically, stra we, we used the, we, mysti we mystically strategized okay. though. This is different. I mean, go for it. Or do you want to do the muscle? No, okay. I'll do it. flex? Which, which one? Sure. You're more on two. Let's give two I'm going to hit shot. both of them. Place 20 meat and then flex, causing it to slip, spring onto the table. You lose 20 meat. Well, we, okay. It's the last round of betting. Time to do or die. The pot is 120. Oh, it didn't incre increase our, aw. Oh. Um, do we moxie? I think we moxie. Okay. Mad moxie. All right, reveal the cards. Force your opponents to read them and weep. A full house. Virginia shrugs and she reveals a straight. Bart grumbles at... No, a Utah flush? We lost. Corwin, oh. you fucked it up. I did. <laughs> I did. Let's play another one. Uh, forcefully strategize. Plus 20... Yeah, I like that. Oh no, we don't have gumption. Okay, so we should have always strategized, I think. Raise. Strategize. Reveal cards. Yay! We hey, won. We got, we got our meat back. All right, we're done. Mm -hmm. I think we're done. Let's get out of this place. Yeah, we'll, we'll only do that if we absolutely need meat. All right, so we need to... What are you guys? Must have fallen asleep during the brawl. That's funny. All right, let's go check out our... brawl. Actually, we'll check out our room on the next episode. Guess we will do just that. Guys, we played a lot of games. Perhaps you've played a Final Fantasy game. Which Final Fantasy character do you think we had a crush on as a kid? Yeah. And actually, we'll go with what was our our biggest Final Fantasy crush. Because honestly, there've, there's been more there than one. Them. There, yeah, there's quite a few. Uh, answer down below. We'll record the right answers and give shout outs to people who get it right. Give us game suggestions down there as well. If you like our stuff, the best thing that you can do is to share it around to our body. Bye, everybody. Howdy, body, folks. Howdy, body, folks.